this is amazing now i can monitor my email 24 7 by ai agents it is going to go through my emails and draft a response same like this we are going to use senior email analyst email action specialist and an email response writer agent so first we will be creating agents then tools such as gmail monitor and finally we are going to make them and work as a group we are also going to integrate that with langgraph that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about integrating crew ai and langgraph i'm going to take you through step by step on how to integrate crew ai langgraph langchain's gmail toolkit integration but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you first step git clone crew ai examples and then click enter next navigate to the crew ai examples folder inside that you'll have these many number of folders we are going into the crew ai langgraph folder crew ai langgraph now i'm going to open this in vs code code doc. so this is the folder structure here we are going to go to .env.example and we'll rename this as .env and then click enter. In the env file, make sure you enter your OpenAI API key, your Tavily API key, which you can get it from tavily.com and then the email address you want to monitor. Then we are going to provide this Langchain tracking. This is for Langsmith. This is optional. You don't need to do this. So just enter only these three information. You can just delete all these things and it should be like this. Once after you enter this, just save it. Next, create a file called credentials.json. So this is where you need to add your Gmail API key. Once after you log into your Google Cloud Console, there you can see API services and then enable API services. So we are going to click enable API services now. Then we will be clicking the credentials. That's where we are creating our access details. So first enable APIs. Here click enable APIs and services. Type Gmail. Click Gmail API and then you can activate. I've already activated that. Next, coming to API services and then credentials. Here at the top, you can click create credentials and then OAuth client ID. And the application type is desktop app. Provide a name like test and then create. Now we'll have download JSON link. Make sure you keep the key secure. Once after you download that file, copy the contents of that file and paste it in credentials.json and then click save. Now we have saved the credentials.json. As a quick overview, all the main files are in the SRC folder. Just go and click there. You have graph. That's where you are integrating your lang graph. Then you have notes and then state. So these three are linked in lang graph. The crew folder inside that is responsible for the whole crew. So agents will have three different agents as we have seen before. Senior email analyst to filter out unwanted emails, newsletters, and promotional content. Then we have the email action specialist who will go through every single email, prepare a summary, understand the importance, and then send it to the email response writer. This agent is going to compose the email, understand the language used, understand the style, and create a draft in your Gmail folder. Next, coming to the tasks, we have filter email task, action required tasks, and then draft response task. Each task given to those respective agents. So in the tools file, that's where we have the Gmail toolkit to draft a new email. The lang graph, which you can see here, is used to check new emails, wait for next run, and draft responses. Thanks to the author who created this code. Now it's all ready to run. In your terminal, export OpenAI API key like this, and then click enter. Next, we're going to type python main.py and then click enter. It will provide you with this URL. So you're going to navigate to this URL, click the email address which you want to use and then verify that. You will get a prompt like this, sign in with Google, choose the relevant email address and click next. Then it will show like this, click the continue button and then continue again. Now I can see the authentication flow has completed. You can close this window. This is in the browser window. First, it's checking for new emails. As you can see here, the emails are first filtered by the senior email analyst agent. This agent is to check if any newsletters, promotional content 
or notification if so those emails will get ignored only the real email will get passed to the next agent so this email checks every single email which are most recent after filtering it is coming to the email action specialist agent this agent is going to summarize the email thread highlighting the main points identify the user the communication style and provide the sender's email address next this information of those emails will be passed to the email response writer this agent is going to write an email based on the communication style in the thread it is going to do research of the topic if required then it will be passed to the gmail tool the sender information the subject and the message then this will automatically draft the email in the inbox i can see a response here from the email response writer task output all responses have been drafted then i can see it is looking for any new emails every 180 seconds if there is any email which i can see here one email just received it's going to go through the email same as the workflow first it goes to the senior email analyst and the analyst mentioned that this is a newsletter from justdrop.com so since the email is a newsletter from justdrop.com it is not personal or important email therefore it should be filtered out there is no relevant thread ids and senders in this case therefore no action is required here i can see a draft email got generated based on the conversation which is the most recent conversation it's regarding a direct debit cancellation and this is automatically generated by ai agents this is amazing now i can keep this code running so that i don't need to draft any response it will be automatically taken care of i am really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching